lot of people don't think that they're artistic. You know, everybody has an artistic quality and ability to do something. If you love to write, if you love to take pictures, if you love to act, if you love to cook, that's an art. Construction, you know, knitting, anything is considered an art, a little hobby, you know? So I don't know, I think art has a lot to do with how we are and who we are and what we make of ourselves. I like to simplify my style so people like a mass can understand it. So what I like to say is it's a graffiti animation. It's got the elements of graffiti that I grew up with and the imagery of animation and mixing those two together with my environment that I live around here. Lots of trees, lots of natural things. You know, it it's resonates with what Lake Superior and what this area has to offer. Using wood compared to canvas is, it depends on person's liking too, I guess. But I started out using canvas. And what I found out with canvas was being a poor artist, it's hard to get when you don't have funds. And so I was spending a lot of money on canvas. And to eliminate that cost, I just started painting on wood. It also dries better. It takes the paint better for me. Uh, I really like to thin my paint out, so painting on a really smooth surface helps out. And with a, a textured canvas, your fine little brushes get eaten up because of the texture. And so I don't have to buy brushes very often. I don't have to buy paint very often because I'm watering it down and extending it. And I don't have to buy a canvas. So. I ruled out most of my cost, and that's why I can say that it doesn't hurt for me to, you know, donate or give things away because it really is, is no money out of my pocket, so to speak. Being out and doing murals and uh, doing live painting too, it just shows people that you can produce outside your studio too, but it also helps spread your art and make it more accessible to people to see. If you're doing murals out in public, you're grabbing everybody's attention, if they like it or not. And that's what I love about it, is graffiti and murals are like a slam in the public's face. Man, especially up here where you don't see a lot of graffiti and a lot of murals, I think it really helps people out and it grabs like sort of a connection, you know? Uh, it is a, it's a challenge that I walk away from in a learning experience, but it also helps me realize how many people enjoy art. Just this summer doing the East End mural, you know, showing kids that were walking by what they could do to their community or to their area, and seeing smiles on people's faces and people driving by and honking and saying, good job, you know? it's. It's rewarding to have people support art when you don't hear about it. Everybody's like, uh, we can't do this, we can't do that, you know, no art here, no art there. But then once you start doing it and you get this reaction of people loving it, it makes you continue to do it. You know, you want to just paint the whole town. <laughs> uh, being a self-employed artist in the Midwest, in Twin Ports, is very difficult. You don't make a lot of money. You really don't make a living off of it. 
most of my income comes from side jobs, seasonal jobs, whatever you can do and make ends meet. Uh, when you do sell a painting, you get about a dollar to the hour that you put into it, if that. And that's something that I was taught when I was young was, you know, you can be an artist, but if you want to make it and you want to make a living off of it, you have to divide yourself into a businessman and an artist. The advantages of being a self-employed artist and having a unique style in this area is there's not a lot of people to compete with either. If you can make a name for yourself and just keep doing art and just being committed to it, you know, you can make a presence and a name for yourself here. What I want to accomplish as an artist is helping my community out and showing the world that the Midwest is just as vital of an art center as anywhere else. There is so many good artists around here and there's so many talented, inspirational people that do art because they love doing art. I do art because I want to help people out. I want to help myself out, you know. I think it's just something that's in me. A lot of people have helped me out when I was starting out. And now that I'm in a situation where I can help people out with my art, I think that's important. You know, if you want to do something, you got to do it yourself. You can't just wait around for people to do something for you. That's just my attitude. Just get it done, you know. If you have a dream, you have some hope, you have some wish to do something, just do it. You know, no one's going to make a change except yourself. 